The United States and the UK launched strikes against 36 targets in Yemen with the support of several other countries. Now, this was in response to repeated attacks on shipping by Iran-backed Houthi rebels that have disrupted global trade and put lives at risk. Now, the strikes come just a day after US operations against Iran-linked groups in Iraq and Syria. The Pentagon said that the strikes hit buried weapons storage facilities, missile systems, launchers and other capabilities that the Houthis have used to attack Red Sea shipping. It added that it targeted 13 locations across the country. Meanwhile, the UK government said that it engaged in a third wave of proportionate and targeted strikes against Iran-linked Houthi militants in Yemen. And the footage released by the British Defence Ministry showed aircraft taking, taking off from an airfield identified as a Grotiri, Cyprus, by the ministry. A Houthi-run Yemeni news agency said that the US and Britain launched 14 raids on the governorate of Taiz and Hodeida. 11 of the attacks targeted the Al Bara area in the Makbana district and areas in the Haifan district. The other three attacks targeted Jabal Al Jada in Al Laya district and the Al Salif district in Al Hodeida governorate. The Yemen strikes are running parallel to an unfolding U.S. campaign of military retaliation over the killing of three American soldiers in a drone strike by Iran-backed militants on an outpost in Jordan, where three U.S. military personnel were killed. On Friday, the U.S. carried out the first wave of that retaliation, striking in Iraq and Syria against more than 85 targets linked to Iran's Islamic Revolutionary Guard Corps and militias that it backs. The strikes reportedly killed nearly 40 people. The U.S. military's central command said that the strikes targeted missile sites, drone storage and operation sites, radars and helicopters. Iraq had summoned a U.S. envoy in Baghdad after these strikes were carried out. Iran has also condemned the strikes. It was unclear how Tehran will respond to the strikes, though, which do not directly target Iran, but they degrade the groups that it backs. These strikes have now fueled fears that the conflict could spread to other regions in West Asia. However, British Defence Minister Grant Shapps has denied that possibility. He says that it is not an escalation.